Word people, Flipcrafter here with Technicube. Today I have for you a fully AFK gassed powered tree farm. That's right. Uh, get your saplings, uh, you know, relief crusher, gassed. I don't know, go up the ladder. Over here you've got your bone meal like area. <laughs> yeah. And uh, ow. You've got, uh, you got apples, it completely sorts the thing for you. Um, you got wood, everybody wants wood. This is not a simple machine, so I'm gonna do my best to teach you guys how to build this thing. Make sure you have enough area to start. It is a 19 by 19 by 16 area. Then go to the bottom left corner, count in a diagonal line, one, two, three to 12. From this point, count three blocks up and place your dirt block. Now instead of going through and building each block by block for you, I'm just going to show you the shape and you can pause the video as you like. Uh, how you lay this first part out is extremely important since it is what everything else is built off of. So take your time and make sure that you get this one right. Now we're going to add the entire bone meal system. It's 8 blocks tall of chest and hoppers pointed into a dropper, a dropper, and a dispenser. Now for the sapling collection system. This is just a big pile of hoppers. Shift click these things all the way around until they distribute into a dropper facing up so that they can feed the saplings into you while you're AFK. Now for the hoppers that collect the logs. You can really do this any way you want as long as these hoppers on the inside are done right. Four blocks up from where you're standing. And now we add the tree mover. This is just a seven stack tall of two wide sticky pistons. And now for the leaf crusher. This is just basically a wall of pistons. It's six blocks high and it's got special spacing around. I'll just let you uh, check this out for yourself. With the pistons in place for the leaf crusher, now we're gonna place logs in these places. It's important to have them go all the way down to the floor and fill in all the gaps around the sides so that we can make sure that no saplings or apples get anywhere. Don't forget these two logs in the back. We're using logs on the pistons because most blocks placed next to saplings cause the saplings to not grow. Finally starting with the redstone, standing on this pressure plate here is what activates the clock underneath. Now for the circuit that will continue to loop until the tree is pushed. This redstone block moves, sitting a pulse through these repeaters back into itself, continuing until the tree is moved. Pulling power from the last circuit, we're going to run a wire along the side and it's going to power the sapling dropper. For the tree pusher, we're going to be using a double piston extender. We're going to snake power from the bottom all the way to the top, using half slabs where needed. Each one of these repeaters are on their second tick. This block placed in the center is the tree limiter. It stops us from growing quote unquote big trees. Now to build a bit of the frame to help stop fire spread and catch some of those spare saplings. Since you're building this in survival, Gary thought this was the best time to put the ladder in since you're gonna be going up and down a lot. Now to wire up the leaf crusher. There's not too much to explain here, just keep an eye on what's going on. Six blocks long. Here the redstone is going to be going through the log, so it is connected there, but it'll be going through the tree once it's already pushed. Everywhere that you see half slabs in this build, they're necessary. This is the log harvesting chamber. There's not much to this, just make sure that you get all the blocks in the right place. Now we're getting into the wiring that takes and pushes the logs into the shape needed for the gas to be able to harvest them. It 
take your time here and make sure that everything's done right. It's easy to mess this up. You have eight trees to grow before you're going to reach these pistons. The next circuit pulls power off the pink circuit and then powers three double piston extenders. Now following this torch up, there's a fairly simple circuit that only has one double piston extender. And now for the final wood moving circuit. It splits off and goes on the top and the bottom here since it's a double piston extender. The redstone dust has to go over here so that this dust doesn't connect directly to the piston. Alright now under the farm, this being the pressure plate that you stand on that activates the whole thing, count 5 blocks back, 5 blocks to the right, and 5 blocks up. This is going to be where your gas sits. Now for the gas cage. All you have to do is build a 5x4x5 five by by five area with a spot in the middle for a minecart. You can build this cage out of just about anything that you want. I personally recommend iron bars since you can see through them, the gas can't see you, and they have a high blast resistance. We're just using glass here because it's easier to count. I would not recommend using glass in your build. Make sure that the floor and ceiling are solid blocks. You can use panes here, or you can use iron bars. This is going to be the area that you access the bone meal. You're going to need to cover this area up here on the top with half slabs, carpet, whatever it is that you want. When you're AFKing, it's extremely important that every time the sapling dispenser fires that it gives a sapling and not an apple. That's why we have this apple sorting system on here. Now you can get the gas in there any way you want. As long as the uh, top part is some sort of translucent block such as half slabs, the gas will just fall right in without even taking damage. Sometimes to place the last block you're going to need to use a piston. Now this part is completely optional. When using the machine, you're going to run out of bone meal. This is an alarm that tells you when you're out of bone meal. All you have to do is break one hopper and then hop a little bit and you can place one comparator. After the comparator is placed, the rest will be easy. Place one item in this hopper clock and you're good to go. And there you have it, a perfectly working gas farm. Finally, after all this time. <laughs> um, special thanks goes out to Eves, who basically did most of the design work. It was a lot of my idea, and it was a lot of uh, Gary cleaning this up. Thank you so much, Gary, for spending your time making this so that people can see it. Check this out. Here comes the wood. Boom! That crap works. Um... Uh, thanks to all the Technicube guys. We all put our two cents in. Whenever you make this, make sure that it's within 15 blocks of a spawner. That's the, uh, that's the other thing that I like to say. Uh, that block that's right there is the one that you stand on 15 blocks away, and you have your skeleton spawner. It's a pig, but skeleton spawner. Um, then you can, tran you can gather bone meal while you are gathering your wood. The drama's... <laughs> Drama tickets hanging out with ease. Awkward. Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, special thanks to Technicube all around. And uh, I hear that X is going to be putting this in one of his videos here soon. Um, decorate this thing out here in the back however you want to. You know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Drama. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's 
that's it. Uh, we have a whole world download here for you in the description to come check this out. Um, that's all, folks. See you guys next time.